should actually do a little intro. I hope you're all doing well. I'm starting another vlog. It's Friday today and I'm about to shoot some photos. I'm gonna go do that before um, there's no light left because the natural light is really good right now. I will talk to you guys after but I thought I would record I thought I would record the process and I'll explain to you guys a little bit after how I set up this little studio. I'll also show you guys like what apps and stuff I'm using right now because I keep getting a lot of questions. So I thought I would put it in a vlog. Rule number one. Why is it so difficult to put in earrings? There we go. Rule number one. I always need, whoops, good music when I shoot stuff. No, for hours, fuck in the shower. Pussy devour, fall play in the kitchen, bend it over the counter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know you belong to me You can bring your whole squad plus three I must be losing my Speak of that you make up for all the hate on one of the ladies Always make sure your lens is clean. Okay, I'm gonna check the photos. Maybe I got the first look already. Shooting my second look for today. This top from weekday. Maybe you've seen it in my haul. And I'm doing these standing up. shooting and it took me about two hours and I'm gonna start getting into choosing the photos and editing and all that stuff which is gonna take me a couple of hours as well I did two looks today and I'm really excited to see the photos you could probably tell from the footage already that I use my iPhone this is the 11 max pro sometimes very rarely I'll use um, the Canon that I'm filming with right now uh, which I'll link down below as well it's the G7X Mark II I think I have but most of the time I just really use this phone and I don't think I've used the camera for photos in a long time you could probably tell from the footage as well that I don't actually do self-timer photos but I use the video function and this has changed the game for me so much it's made it so much easier to take photos by myself i'm not sure if this would work with every phone obviously it depends on the quality outcome that you want as well with this phone and for instagram photos it works perfectly fine for me especially if there's good lighting i just use the video function i pop on a video and then i do a bunch of poses and you know do my thing and then I can go into the video and go through it and take screenshots and use those as my images. It just makes it so much easier because you're obviously capturing every single moment and you just have such a wide range to choose from. Sometimes you'll take a self-timer picture and you have your eyes closed or you're moving and it's just annoying because you're obviously just getting that one frame. But with the video you have all the frames, which is what I love about it. You can actually change your video settings in the iPhone settings. You'll have to find your camera and then you click on record video and you choose 4K and 60 frames per second. And then just double check when you have your camera open that it says that up here. That way you'll have the best quality available. I just thought I would note that because um, I'm pretty sure you have to change it to 4K and 60 frames per second in the settings just because it makes for a very large file and that's why it's not the standard setting. So yeah, that's how I take my photos. The little setup behind me has also changed my life. Just so you can see the whole thing. I love how there's just a random sock lying there. Amazing. This is basically just a white paper backdrop i got this one from a more local photography online shop you can also get these on amazon i think this one was around 70 euros so it's not cheap but this one's also massive so it's two meters wide and i want to say 20 meters long maybe only 10 i'm not sure it's obviously rolled up this one already has a bunch of marks on it because i've shot i think four or five times with boots, with dark soles, so it's bound to happen, but they're pretty easy to edit out, so it's not really a problem. Then obviously I have a tripod where I secure my phone, and I bought this extra tool for that. And it's pretty easy to set up the backdrop as well. Basically all you need is two tripods, one on each side. 
I already had these, they're just standard tripods and they were connected to my LED lights that I bought a while ago. And then you have one sort of bar, I guess, connecting the two. I'll link that one down below as well. You just pop that one through the backdrop and then hang it up. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is what it looks like from the back. It's actually massive. I mean, I can only recommend this. And yes, I do have artificial lights. I have this uh, ring light as well. And then these LED lights, uh, two of them that I got a while ago. But to be honest, I actually prefer shooting with natural light. Yeah, I'm really not into artificial light. At the moment, I think natural light looks so much better. Natural light all the way, and obviously right now I've got a couple of lamps on like this one and I have one in front of me. Like when I'm working, obviously I have lamps on, but when I'm shooting with natural lights, I turn all the lights off in my apartment, the overhead light and all the lamps and stuff because I don't like that light either. So you just want natural light coming in through the windows. And to be honest, it's not even that bright in Germany right now. The natural light is not amazing. Even in the middle of the day, it's just very gloomy and pretty dark, but the white backdrop really helped. It's really easy to take great photos, even if there's not too much natural light. And I love it so, so much. Yeah, it's made such a big difference. I can only recommend it if you have the space, if you love taking photos, if you want to take more editorial looking photos at home. Okay, choosing the photos is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you guys anyways. Um, I always pop on the pause function like that, just because then it's even easier to select. And then if I like this one, for example, I just tap in the middle so the bottom bit goes away, take a screenshot, and then that's my first photo. And then once I have all of my screenshots, I'll go through them again, pick out my favorites, and then I start the editing process. And for editing, I've changed my technique as well. I used to be a big Visco girl, or not a Visco girl, but I used to use Visco, like most people. And now I do almost all of my edits just in the camera roll. At the moment, I'm really enjoying a bit of a moody, darker vibe. So what I like to do is I go down on the exposure. I like to play with the brilliance. Sometimes I go up, sometimes I, don't, I go down. I love putting the highlights down. And with putting the highlights down, I find that the image gets more sort of saturated. And so I turn down the vibrance accordingly. I sometimes like to take out the shadows and a bit of the contrast. So really I just have a play with light. It depends on the image. Sometimes if I'm really not happy with the sort of color, I like to use Lightroom. I think I've shared this before. Just Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. And this app is really great, again, just for editing the color. So you've got the normal options such as temperature, tint, vibrance, and saturation. That option up there, mix. If you click on that, you can take full control of all of the colors. So if I'm like, there's too much yellow in the picture, I can turn down the saturation of the yellow. I can also change the tone of the yellow and I can also change the luminance of the yellow. And you can do this with all the other colors in the picture. It really, really helps with sort of having a nice feed and having all the colors match up. But honestly, most of the time, I don't even need to use this at the moment. I think it's also all about just shooting in similar light and with similar backdrops and then you honestly don't have to do that much editing. Sometimes I will go into Visco and I'll do a bit of um, a grain filter, but I'm not super into that anymore either. Okay, I'm sitting here editing this video realizing that I'm actually an idiot because I forgot to talk about the most important thing, which is how I've been achieving my sort of vintage looking photos. I say most important thing because a lot of you guys have been asking about them and that's kind of the main reason why I wanted to do this video in the first place. I can't believe I forgot to talk about it, but I've been using this app called Dazcam. It's life-changing. I almost don't want to share it because it's so good. I just do the same process as before with my phone, um, do the in-camera roll editing and all that stuff, and then I use Dazcam if I want to do the sort of vintage thing. There's a free version, there's a paid version. I do have the paid version, but I don't even think you necessarily need it. Check it out, have a play with it and thank me later. Enjoy the rest of the video. And that's about it. I'll use Facetune sometimes to, for example, edit out the marks on the bottom, or if there's like a hair on the ground or something like that. And also I'll use the detailing function. If you want to make like your earrings pop or something, that one works really well. You can whiten your teeth a little bit, do um, whatever you want. Really important with Facetune in general, just don't go overboard because people can tell and 
you never want to meet people in person and not look like your photos i think you should still look like yourself in photos yeah so don't go overboard with the editing i use Planally to plan my feed so you sync this with your instagram there we go so this is my existing feed and then you can add pictures up here and you can drag them around you can also schedule them like in a calendar to when you want to post them but i don't really use that feature i just do that in my head and you can also let this app post for you or post through this app I also don't do that just because I find it unnecessary and I've also heard that Instagram doesn't really like you posting through third-party apps so it won't push the post as much. I don't know if that's 100% true but I've heard that and it might be true so if um, engagement is really important to you and you want to use a third-party app maybe look into that. I actually like to do my editing on my iPad so I've got an iPad Pro and i will choose all my screenshots on here and then put them over on the ipad and then edit them there and like do the whole planning thing i just like doing it on a bigger screen but obviously you can also do it on your phone i'm gonna take a couple of hours to do that this is like my favorite thing to do and i always put on a podcast or even a tv show in the background um and it's super relaxing to me i look like i don't have much hair but it's up here <laughs> um it's the evening now i spend a couple of hours picking out some photos and I went to the supermarket before and bought some groceries. I'm just staying in tonight because I need some me time. I mean, not that there's much going on anyways, but I could go to a friend's place for dinner or something because that's still allowed. But even though it's a Friday, I just feel like being by myself. I don't really feel like seeing anyone. But yeah, I'm gonna make dinner, but I'm gonna shower first. I need to wash my hair and take this makeup off. I actually so satisfying to take these off i never wear fake lashes or oh, I, I genuinely i think it's years ago that i wore fake lashes remember when i got extensions for a while i was obsessed with them good morning guys it's saturday and it's noon i just got out of bed i've been up since 9 30 but i just spent a couple of hours in bed which i haven't done in a while but today the weather is disgusting, it's two degrees and rainy. I haven't made any plans for the day and I don't really feel like doing much. I'm really not feeling social at the moment, which I guess is good, um, seeing as you're not really even meant to see that many people, obviously. I feel so incredibly pale, especially when I get up in the mornings without makeup. I mean, I've never used fake tan. I've never been a fan of the idea, but recently I've been thinking about trying it because <laughs> I just am used to being a lot more tan. Maybe like tan drops. I've been seeing like drops or mist for your face on Instagram. If anyone has experience with those products, let me know. What was I even talking about? I need to, I need to have a coffee before I can talk to you guys, I think. Okay. Um, coffee. I still haven't found the lid to my milk filmer, but there definitely is one. So I'm only going half crazy since I can't find it anywhere. I'm sure most of you guys know about this one <clears throat> already, but this is the best dairy-free milk for coffee in my opinion, because it foams really nicely. Ooh. <laughs> she really does need a coffee. Though I slept pretty well, I had the weirdest dreams, but I want to talk to you guys about that in a second. I really wanted to give you guys an update on how my dry January is going. If you guys haven't watched my last vlog, I'm not drinking or smoking or doing anything else this month. Um, staying completely sober.
Okay, a couple of hours have passed since me making breakfast, obviously. Actually, I did that at 1 p.m., so not that much time has passed. But my battery ran out, and then I wanted to make breakfast, and then I wanted to do some work, which I did. And now I've just gotten ready because I'm going to a friend's place for dinner tonight. I'm feeling a little bit social again. And um, yeah, I'm just going over to a friend's place, which is allowed still, and we're gonna make pizza, which I'm super excited about. But I did want to talk to you guys about um, how I'm going with staying sober this month because a bunch of you guys messaged me about it. And I honestly have to say that I am very excited to have wine again next weekend. So this is my fourth weekend. And um, next weekend is technically still January because it's the 30th and 31st, but I did four full weeks. So I'm gonna drink again next weekend and I'm yeah, I'm excited. I miss it. I can't lie. But at the same time, I've felt really amazing this month, I have to say. And I think a big part of that has been staying sober. I also think there's a lot of other factors, such as me sticking to a really good routine. I'm going to bed around the same time, waking up around the same time, exercising more. I'm eating pretty well, but not restricting myself at all, treating myself all the time. I'm taking care of myself. I'm like reading, taking baths, doing yoga in the mornings, all the stuff that I never used to do. So I definitely think there's multiple factors, but I also think it's been so much easier for me to take care of myself because I'm not drinking. <laughs> I really can't deny that. I think it's gonna be super interesting for me when I drink again, what that's gonna feel like. I mean, this is coming across really dramatic and as if I haven't had a sip of alcohol in five years or something. It's literally only been three weeks. Still, it's been like a fairly big deal for me because I don't think that since I've started drinking, which I think I was 15 or 16, I don't think I've gone three weeks without any alcohol at all, which sounds extreme, but I feel like that's pretty common. I am seeing a lot of positives. I have so much more energy. I need less sleep. I'm getting better quality sleep. I am having very vivid dreams and nightmares as well, but I actually read that that's super normal when doing something like cutting out alcohol like changing something drastically in your life or routine that hasn't been too bad because again i still feel like i'm getting good sleep i'm getting out of bed in the mornings way quicker than i used to and i just feel a lot more clear and switched on and focused and creative and i feel really good i have to say but on the other hand i have to say i'm not willing to give up drinking altogether because I just enjoy it too much. I enjoy the taste, I enjoy the social aspect, I enjoy the feeling of being buzzed or even drunk uh, at times. I think I'm willing to accept that my health is not gonna be at its peak and that that's a price that you have to pay if you want to drink and if you want that to be a part of your lifestyle, which I do because I enjoy it very much and I do feel like it gives me something as well. I know that in the summertime, I'm gonna probably go crazy again, especially when everything opens up again and this is like the first summer when everything's open again and you can go to bars and meet up with friends. I mean, fucking hopefully. Over the next few months, I wanna try to keep it to the weekends and see how much of the clarity and energy that I have now still remains. I don't know, I would be really interested in hearing from you guys how you incorporate alcohol into your lifestyle. It's one of those things where obviously we know that it's not really good for us, but we do it anyways, just because it's fun. I saw this TikTok the other day that was like, becoming an adult is basically just realizing that all of your favorite things are bad for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just very interesting, but I've, I'm really, really glad that I decided to do dry January and I'm really impressed with how well it's going. That's my take on that. Maybe I'll do an update <laughs> once I've had a drink again. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was just me in my apartment again and doing a lot of talking and dancing and stuff. But you guys really enjoyed the last vlog and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a bit more of Berlin and like go for walks and stuff in my next one. The weather was just so horrible the past few days that I didn't really want to do a lot of walking around Berlin to be honest. But I'll try to put that in my next vlog and I have some really exciting videos coming. Some German videos as well with English subtitles that I think turned out really well and I'm really looking forward to uploading those. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notifications. It actually helps me a lot and I will see you in my next video. Bye.